Hey guys, we're super excited to be here at the LA Fit Expo. It's our third year in a row. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be launching a tasty pastry. It's a low carb Pop Tart. It's got three to four grams of net carbs. And we love this show. This is our best place to be in LA. Welcome back to Legendary Foods Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo and today is Wednesday, May 12th, 2021. And let's find out what's going on in the world of bodybuilding and fitness. <music> Ladies and gentlemen, the wait is finally over. You asked for it and you got it. Recap Wednesday is back in full effect and we're starting off the show today with a recap of the Indie Pro. In the men's open, the new and improved Justin Rodriguez looked great and took care of business on his way to earning a well-deserved victory. Second place finisher, Mohamed El Amam, was one of the biggest surprises of the night, and I wouldn't be surprised if we end up saying his name again this season. Rounding out third with the most highly anticipated rookie debut in recent memory was the boogeyman himself, Blessing Awabadu. In the 212 division, a new star was born after rookie Tony O'Burton came in and absolutely crushed it from the minute he stepped on stage. So congratulations to him. The runner-up spot went to another impressive rookie in Nathan Epler. And rounding out the top three was one of our pre-show favorites, John Jewett, who definitely delivered the best performance of his career. Next up is the GRL Power Pro, which might have featured the biggest bikini lineup in terms of total competitors we've seen all year long. And when I hear myself say that aloud, it makes it even more impressive that third year pro Ashlyn Little went in there and dominated from wire to wire the way she did. Second place went to Romina Boswaldo, who's always a threat to win every time she's in the building. Third place went to last year's universe winner, Carolina Colazos who looked great in her pro debut, while fourth place went to Shelby Pierce, and Jessica Dolius rounded out the top five. Out on the West Coast, the Muscle Contest crew brought the stars out for this year's California Night of Champions. And at the end of the night, none of those stars shined brighter than Ashley Kaltwasser, who collected her second win of the season, already with a big time performance. Second year pro Jessica Wilson slid into the runner-up position by edging out third place finisher Alyssa Blessing. Fourth place went to the much improved Rudy Guero and we're wrapping up our coverage here with fifth place finisher Hope Harper who continues to get better every time we see her. Out in Missouri our good friend Jack Titoni and his crew put on another big time event at this year's St. Louis Pro, which featured a lights out performance in the bikini division from Gabriella Masias. Italy's Alyssa Fachin looked as dangerous as ever and the judges decided to reward her with a second place finish. And closing out a really strong top three group was Ellie Fernandez, who looked like she was ready to hit the ground running this year after a solid season debut. <laughs> And finally, we're closing out the show with a few quick thoughts on this weekend's New York Pro. In the men's open, I think the smart money is still on Justin Rodriguez after his big win last weekend. Not to mention the fact that we'll finally get to see Blessing and Nick Walker settle their beef on a bodybuilding stage once and for all. In the 212, Nathan Epler and John Jewett are squaring off for the second week in a row, which is something you might want to keep an eye on if you're a fan of the division. In classic physique, the rumors of Danny Unin's move from the division might have been a little premature and I could see him grabbing a win here. In figure and bikini, Maria Diaz and Ashley Kotwasa could potentially go back-to-back -back wins. And for Ashley, it would actually be three in a row. I'm taking LaDawn McDay in women's bodybuilding and in wellness, I'm excited to see if Angela Borges can keep her hot streak going and make it two in a row over this lineup that looks stacked on paper. And that does it for yet another edition of Muscle in the Morning. I'm Dave Palumbo reminding you to always be true to your passions and make sure to follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.